Well guys, I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey tonight. I did, I did. I, I went to a midnight showing of Fifty Shades of Grey tonight. I, I, uh, I went to go see it with my coworkers and my friends because I got, you know, it's Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, it's like this movie where like, you know, it was so hyped. Everybody was talking about it, especially women, you know, it was like really a, a, a big talk amongst women. So I was like, you know what, I will go see this movie as like, you know, sort of like a film critic and everything. And, you know, it, it, I going in, I, I knew this was probably going to be like another Twilight. Okay, I knew this was going to be another Twilight it's based on a, you know, a book. And I, I just, you know, I went in this movie, I, I didn't really expect much I, I mean like I, I know what kind of movies I like and I mean I thought it was gonna be good for what it was but it wasn't it wasn't even good for what it was all right so basically this is gonna be I, this is gonna be a review okay I have to do a review on 50 shades of gray I, I know I said I wasn't really gonna do reviews anymore I was just gonna do like movie updates and video game updates and everything that's what the, the, the channels for but I feel as though I need to really do a review on a movie when it's just when it needs to be done okay and, and a review on 50 shades of gray just needs to be done okay so basically Wow, okay, and I'm, I'm gonna be in my car because I, I don't want to walk inside I feel like I'm gonna be ranching to, ranching to the like, you know camera and I'm gonna wake up my roommate So and that's not what I want at all. Okay, so basically what Fifty Shades of Grey is about and I, I, I'm, I am reviewing this from like a, a movie a film point of view. I have not read the books whatsoever uh, I, I feel so that's what should be done. Okay, I, I feel so like if you uh, go into a film, you, even if, like, you know, it's based upon something like a book or a comic book or anything, you, you shouldn't really have to read, uh, you know, the source material, you, you should just enjoy the movie for what it is, like, for what you are seeing, you know, so, I mean, it would help, but, you know, if the, you're old or something, or, like, it's just not your kind of taste, you, you know, you just have to enjoy the movie, okay, and, and maybe if you enjoy the movie a lot, like, huh, maybe I'll then read the source material and everything, and that, that, that's the whole point of a movie sometimes, it's like, you know, to get involved in a franchise, okay, so basically what, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is about, from my understanding, from, like, what I saw in the movie, it's like this chick, um, uh, interviews this, uh, billionaire for her friend, and they, um, they, they start, you know, kind of seeing each other, um, for some odd reason, okay, for some odd reason in the movie, the chick is very attracted to this guy, even though the guy is kind of a douchebag, okay, the guy is a douchebag, well, not like a douchebag, as in, like, you know, like a football player douchebag, but, like, he's kind of, like, you know, a stubborn rich kid, or whatever, like, you know, he's got that rich persona and everything, and, like, you know, he's got, he's, like, really controlling and everything, and in the movie, like, you know, like, he's like, what are you, like, what are you doing, like, you, we, we should go, yeah, bleh, it's just, and it's like, when he's, like, trying to, like, you know, see her and everything, uh, you can know, you, you can kind of tell, like, you know, she's kind of freaked out and everything by this guy, that this, this character, you know, it's, it, you in the audience don't really see, like, you, especially women in the audience, like, they picture themselves as this woman, and I kind of felt for the women in the audience, like, they didn't really see anywhere go, like, anywhere, like, going with this guy, okay, because, like, it was just so awkward, the dialogue was, like, so awkward, and it was so weird, this was a weird individual, okay, and for some odd reason, it, it's the, the movie still like played played on and everything. She uh, eventually starts seeing this individual, and um, it gets it gets even weirder. It gets really even weirder. Um, so basically, um, he is a dominatrix and wants her to become a submissive. Okay, it's a it's a S and M movie or a, or a BDSM movie or something. I don't know. Wasn't he okay? <laughs> It wasn't even that big of a, it, like, the trailers, like, played it out to be, like, you know, the sexual movie, and it wasn't even that big of a sexual movie, it really wasn't, like, if anything, like, I mean, I, I went into it, like, you know, as a movie, as a movie to enjoy, um, I know a lot of people are, are probably gonna go into this, like, as, like, you know, sort of like a, uh, uh, just to go, like, and enjoy this as, like, a piece of pornography, and honestly, you can't even, like, enjoy this as a piece of pornography, it's not that bad at all, I mean, like, yes, there's nudity and everything, but, like, it's not that bad whatsoever, and, uh, basically in the movie, like, you know, um, he's trying to get her to sign this contract to willingly, like, you know, become, um, his submissive, and, and like, you know, she's very hesitant, and she's like, well, let me, like, let me, like, try some stuff out before, like, you know, I, um, you know, uh, be become your submissive and everything, and it's in the movie, basically, like, you know, he's being all weird, you know, he's like, you know, dominating her in like, you know, his playroom, and it's just, it, it it's just weird, it's awkward, even the dialogue is so awkward and everything, and, you know, it, it's, it's actually kind of laughable, like, what they say back and forth, you know, like, um, when they're trying to, like, you know, come to an agreement, like, you know, it's in the, 
like what's supposed to be sexual and like ooh is actually not even sexual at all it's like like i said it's laughable and everything it's like it's it's just like what it was trying to do it it, it did not succeed whatsoever everybody i everybody in the theater was laughing okay everybody in the theater was laughing i was laughing it was just it was so awkward everybody was laughing in the theater okay and uh basically th this character okay um the, the the main character you know the girl uh falls in love with uh christian gray you know the the uh, the, the dominatrix guy Sorry, my uh, my phone just ran out of like storage, so I just had to delete some videos from the past so I can make uh, you know some space. Well, anyways, she starts seeing uh, this guy like you know letting him do stuff to her, and uh, she she allows this to happen because like you know she falls in love with this character. It's like what you first off you had like this like really awkward uh, first time you met. Uh, he's weird and everything, and like it, it, you fall in love with him. What? That doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. That that is the worst character development I have ever seen in a film. Uh, that's just like that's not how relationships work in film. Okay, there are better relationships that I can I can name in film that have happened in the past. Like uh, you know Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy, uh, Shrek and Fiona. Like there's just so much better stuff out there that you know people people can like compare that to. That's not. That's not. A, that's not how relationships work. Okay. That's. Uh, the, you know the meme online where it says like a better love story than Twilight. Well, there's gonna be another meme now. A better love story than Fifty Shades of Grey. Cause that that is what this is. This is a new Twilight, and I I just oh my god, it just does not make any sense whatsoever. And uh, it's, what's really sad is that this this movie is gonna make a lot of money from like you know the the female demographic and it's because people like women some women out there actually want this in their life okay they they want a guy who has sex with them and y y you know there's no feelings there's no mutual feelings or anything there's no love um if that is, if that is what you want out of life okay you are you are insane okay you you need help you are obviously a selfish human being you that's that's if if you if that's what you want then that's that's just crazy okay uh, i i can obviously why see why you're going to go see this movie like holy crap and it's just and as as a movie itself it wasn't even like it, there were so many unanswered questions like i'm not going to get like really into any like spoilers or anything like i don't even think like I don't even think getting into spoilers would like really help this movie even like I it's not even worth my time getting into spoilers and the movie itself like you know there's just so many unanswered questions like you know there's so much backstory but that there's not even really any backstory there's like mention of backstory but there's no backstory at all it's just like oh I was like you know ab abused as a, as a child and that's why I am the way I am that's not a backstory that's just an excuse okay that's not really going in in deep explaining why you are the way you are and the movie oh my god i'm not gonna like give away the ending or anything but the what that wasn't an ending okay gone girl okay left off on a pretty you know weird track but like you know that was still a little more satisfying as a piece of art than this that was not an ending okay and i know there are, are there are sequels to uh the, the the 50 shades of gray books i know that there are sequels there's like three books or whatever but as a movie okay as a as a film as a work of art okay you you need to be able to give a full story give full amount of characters that are likable and be able to like you know be able to want a sequel because you like the characters and the story but not be able to like want a sequel just to answer unanswered questions in the latest movie okay that's not how sequels mo that's not how sequels work okay it, it... hey guys um so i'm back in my apartment uh, I just wanted to apologize for the rant outside. Um, that that movie just kind of made me angry or agitated, I guess. I don't really get angry with film. I just get kind of, like, annoyed. Um, it just made me kind of agitated on so many levels. Um, so, 
yeah, this uh, I I didn't I didn't really like the movie at all. I I I just didn't I didn't like where it left off left on a WTF note. I I literally like was like oh come on in the theater. It, it just uh, I I I did not like that movie. Um, and like I said, what's really sad is a lot of women are gonna go see this movie, and for some I I I've never like really truly known what Fifty Shades of Grey is about. I've never read the books or anything, so I just thought it was something. I, it was just something that I I knew that women liked over the years, and you guys like that. Like you like that. You like. Is it the sex you guys like, or is it the story behind like this woman falling in love with this guy who cannot love her back for some odd reason that's never really explained until the other books? And people like that. They like they 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 like what they what they read. If, if that's, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting like really um, personal with this review. Uh, that's not my intent really at all. Um, I, I never really get personal on this channel. I just post updates on movies and uh, video games. That's it. That's really the, the whole point of this channel. But I feel like I, feel like I need to get personal right now. Um, I usually get personal on my vlogs channel. Um... If that's what you guys want in life, then you obviously have no idea what a perfect relationship is with somebody, okay? Like, it's sad. It's really sad. It's really, it's really sad. And it sickens me, kind of, that you know, an audience would view themselves as a character like that who would put forth effort into something that's totally pointless. Like, in life, you know, sometimes people put forth effort into people that don't even share the same feelings towards the other party like uh, the characters in this film and that's not something I necessarily want to you know have in my life is like you know like but people will go watch that because they enjoy that that's not enjoyable that's torture that whole movie was torture and some people just like that. Some people want that, and that is that is weird. So, if you, I don't know, it, it's America. If you want to be with somebody that has no emotions towards you and just wants to use you, then go right ahead. If you girls want that, then go right ahead. And I'm sorry, I, I sound totally sexist. But, that's... That's not what a relationship, like, I'm not even just talking about, like, a relationship in a movie. I'm talking about relationships in life. That's not what relationships are all about. You're not supposed to, like, you know, be with somebody. I, I mean, yes, there are faults in human beings, but when there are faults like that, it's not worth it. So... So yeah, that's what I think of Fifty Shades of Grey. Hopefully you guys will understand that this is a pointless movie. So, but yeah, there are still going to be people out there that will really want to be a part of something like that, which will really confuse me.
maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people just wanted to see it because of the sex and everything. But like, I, I truly think that like, you know, if people have read the book, then they know like, oh, I want this. This is so interesting. Like, no, it's not. That's not a relationship. That's not love. That's, like I said, that's torture. You don't want that. So yeah, that's all I have to say about Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, back to what I was saying as a film, it was it was terrible. <laughs> even from like a you know a pornography standpoint, like you know that wasn't even that wasn't even porn really. That was so soft. Uh, but I didn't I didn't even go see it for porn. I went to see it as a movie itself, and because of that, I you know got really agitated. So yeah. All right, guys, that's my review of Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, I'm sorry if I have offended anybody with this, uh, with my opinion. I never really get personal on this channel. I usually get personal a lot on my, my vlogging channel. Uh, I'll put a link down below for you guys to check that out. But, like, that's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get, like, a, like have personal opinions on this channel. I, I, I hope you guys will understand from a human standpoint, but like, oh my god, people will actually go and see this. Oh well, it's not going to affect my views, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching Pixel Talk, I am Corbin Stuckey, and that's pretty much it.